Hi everyone, we're going to factor trinomials using different degrees and also using uh, the greatest common factor. Uh, an IB, it's called highest common factor. So uh, these are the eight problems we'll be doing. If you see one that you, I'm going to go in order. So if you see one that you like, you might want to skip through the slides. The first, uh, the first four we're going to do definitely involves using the highest common factor, the greatest common factor. And we'll go ahead and get started uh, with number one. So the first thing I noticed is that uh, coefficient-wise, there's nothing in common between uh, 5, 17, and 12. However, um, I can divide everything by n squared. And that's your highest common factor. So instead of actually dividing we're calling it a factor because we're not going to actually divide. We're kind of dividing, but we're just going to pull out the n squared. And then when you divide, you're going to get 5n squared minus 17n minus 12. Okay? Now, after this, all you have to do is factor. And I know this is a prime number, so it's just going to be 5n and n. And I need a 17 in here. So um, mm -mm -mm. we're going to go ahead and use 3 and 4. Let's see. I'm going to put the 3 here, the 4 here. And on these kind, you're always going to have to check. Now, I know my first term works. 5n times n is 5n squared. And I know that 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. But the way I check is more mentally. I do, it's outer inner. Do your outer inner. So that's negative 20n plus 3n. And that does yield negative uh, 17n. So this is your answer basically here. You can't factor it anymore. And the next one. Uh, I can factor out a 2 first, but I can't factor out any r. So I'm just going to factor out the 2 and get 2r squared plus 7r minus 4. And now I'm just going to look at this one. Keep, don't forget your 2. So I know it's going to be 2r and r. And I need an 8 and a 1 here, so... I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 4 here and the 1 here. So I know that since this is negative, that these signs are opposite. So these would be plus, minus. I know my first and last work, so I'm just checking my outer inner. So that would be 8R. I make a little happy face. 8R minus 1R is 7R. Equals 7R. So... That's what I need. That middle term is kind of the key there. So that's it for that one. The next one, I'm going to factor out a 2 and a V. Because technically I can divide this by 2V. So I'm going to factor out the 2V. And I'm going to get 7V squared plus 6V minus 48 here. Is it 48? Oops, it's not 48. It's 42. All right. And from here, I can try to factor this, but it's not going to factor anymore. So that would be my answer. The only way you could get solutions to this, if, it, if this was set to zero, is to do the quadratic formula. All right, the next one is here, and um, I can't factor anything out, so this one I'm just going to have to factor. And I have a 5p and a p. That's for my first term. And I need a 54, so that looks pretty easy. If you get used to looking at this outer inner thing, you're looking at this outer inner, you know these are both going to be minus. 
And I know it's going to be 10 and 4 because this is 10 and that gives you 50, negative 50p. And this is 4 minus 4p. And that gives you negative 54p, which is what we wanted. So if our final answer is 5p minus 4 times p minus 10. Okay, the next one. This one is the degree is 4. So it's the previous video. I'm just going to put a squared and a squared. And I need a 3a. So I think 6 and 3 will work. So I'm going to put 6 and 3. One's positive, one's negative. Since this is negative here, I'm going to make my bigger number negative. I can't factor this anymore. And that's all we have. Here's another one, same thing. It's going to be x squared, x squared, uh, minus, minus, because this is a positive and this is a negative. And I have 11. So I think I'm going to use 9 and 2. So 9 and 2. I always check. That's negative 2 x squared minus 9x squared is negative 11x squared. Now, in this case, it's not factored completely because this is, uh, I can factor this by the difference of squares, which would be x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x squared minus 2. Just remember that's a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. All right, um, here's another one. This is pretty easy. X squared, X squared. Now, this one's negative, so that means one's positive, one's negative. It's going to be 5 and 1. I'm going to let my 5 be positive because this, this is positive and 1. Go ahead and check. So that's 5 minus 1 is 4, and we have it. Oh, but I can factor this more, so we're going to get x squared plus 5, and this is my difference of squares, so that's x minus 1 times x plus 1. That's your answer. And the last one, you can factor out a 2 here. It's going to x a to the 4th plus 6a minus 40. So I keep my 2 here, and it's going to be a squared, a squared, one's positive, one's negative. So what do you think? 4 and 10. So the 10 is going to be positive, and the 4 is going to be negative. Go ahead and check. 10 minus 4 is 6. That's a square, sorry. And, uh-oh, I can also factor this some more. This is the difference of squares. So we have 2 times a minus 2 times a plus 2 times a squared plus 10. And that's all of this set. It wasn't too bad. You just have to keep factoring and factoring. Okay, the next set I'm going to do is the sum and difference of cubes. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.